Hello everybody, my name is Asma, and welcome back to Let's Play European Styles 4 as the Celtic Union. So let's continue on from where we last left off. So our colonization is going great. Um, we will, there, I think this will actually form a, oh no, actually it's not. Oh, this one actually finished. So we do have an extra colonist, which I guess we will send to Connecticut, but we won't do that yet. Actually, no, we will send them to Connecticut, uh, but we are sending troops up here just to kind of defend the territories. You need to be here, because that's actually almost, that's like not done at all. And we're going to have like three going on down here. We're going to have one going on down here in uh, in the United States. And maybe we will set up like a, you know, just to help grow Canada. Because as soon as this is done. Oh no, I, was go oh, I almost hit the abandoned button. I, I almost hit the abandoned button. That would have been terrible. Yeah, so all of our colonists are being sent out. Yeah, so... Yeah, because we want you in Connecticut. We've got to make sure, keep an eye on the English Patriots. They seem to be going fine all so far. Nothing really to worry about. Bayothuk has become a, you know, finished colonizing. We fortified Dominica. And now, turn St. Lucia into, take Kent. Actually, no, let's, let's turn St. Lucia into a city. Even though there's like 17 people there, it's fine. So, yeah, these are all getting colonized. Can I click this? Yeah. And uh, we get bonuses in uh, Colonial Canada. The Pope affirms our legal right to Colonial Canada. Other Catholic countries will no longer have legal right to take territory from here. And our colonies will go quick, uh, quicker in Canada. Celtic Canada. Yeah, I mean, you know, it sounds right. It's actually kind of funny because the, uh, the little emblem here, the cross, actually goes over the blue part. I actually kind of like that it goes over the blue part, you know, to be honest. Yeah, but now we have, uh, we get bonuses if you colonize in Canada. And we are very soon actually going to have, like, that, that's why I wanted to do this so quickly. If, along with other countries stay Catholic. Like, Iberia generally stays Catholic, so it's good to, um, it's good to have them. Because they're going to stay Catholic, make sure they can't colonize our territories, it's great. But, um, by being, by colonizing like crazy like I am, we're going to get the Treaty of Tortellese in all sorts of places. It's going to be all over North America. So we're going to have Canada, we're going to have probably Eastern America, we're going to have the Caribbean. If we take Mexico too, then basically all of the United States, all of North America is basically shut off to other Catholic nations. And the Protestant Reformation is only at 75% in 1500. So, you know, we still have a while until any countries become Protestant, let alone colonial powers, which might be France or Norway. Those are like the only countries that it might be. I mean, so many free merchants. It's like, or no, free diplomats. Could we fabricate claims to London? I don't think we can yet. Can't. Uh, yeah, we can't fabricate. We can only fabricate claims on really on France, and I don't want to do that. We can fabricate more claims on Norway, except we already have a claim. We can just improve relations with like Denmark, France, but they already love us. The Pope, we can actually work on a little bit. So uh, let's do that. Uh, relationships, improve relations. Serbia, the Ottoman Empire, Tunis. You know, who, like, is there anyone else we really want to increase relations with? Maybe Muscovy. Now they, they kind of hate us. Poland, I think we were doing a little bit. Because we might want them to be an ally. I just realized that the Ottomans still haven't taken Byzantium. I mean, they're doing it now. But seriously, this is just happening? It's 1500. You're like 50 years late to this, uh, Ottomans. Actually, I will take Admin Tech now. We're, you know, 45 ahead. Uh, 45, uh, five years ahead. 45%. That was 164 docket. It's not too big of an issue. And we're, we're about 100 difficult points short of tra changing our trade capital. I love cotton, so let's do that. Uh, do we want to hire a military guy? Uh, yeah, well, let's get a discipline guy. You know, let's get more points. Who doesn't love more points? Like, really? Also, uh, we get some stuff here. Admin Tech 8. Missionary strength plus one. Yeah, I mean, might as well. There's no bad stuff to it. And lower stability cost for less tax. Like, aren't we already, like, a, we have, like, a negative 13% to tax. And I'd really, I mean, I can see why. But, like, minus 13% to our tax income is, like, really bad. So I will not pass this. Because our, our tax income is already so bad. So I don't think it's really worth it. And we, oh, we only do have four colonies. And four colonies just will not do... We need, we need, like, a hundred colonies. We need, like, thousands of colonies. Uh, let's see. So, one, 
So that's like easy to defend. But the base attack sucks. So if you like go into like Nova Scotia here, we can get way more out of it, so. We can just have you march over here. And then you can march into Where do I want you? We can actually just go like into like Montreal. Or no, this is Quebec City. Yeah, so I guess you just stay where you are. You're fine. Getting Connecticut. So we have, we have this will be three in uh, Eastern America and four in the Caribbean. Oh, I actually like how it says Celtic. Let me see. Let me just zoom out. It does say Celtic Union over all the islands instead of like saying on each individual island. Like it used to, and that kind of always annoyed me. Oh, is this plus one diplomatic relations. Uh, thanks. Uh, five out of six. I think that's for how long. How long do we get that bonus? Uh, it's somewhere in here. Until 1505. So for five years we get an extra diplo slot. You know, which is nice. I don't know if we can really use it effectively. Other than like getting Utrecht to maybe transfer trade power to us. But Denmark, Sweden, Poland. I would love... To, I would actually like to ally Sweden, but they won't do it. Are we still allied to Bavaria? Okay, we are. Serbia. Naples. Savoy. Oh, that's allies, boy. Awesome. You know, more allies, you know, doesn't hurt. We won't... I, are they, uh... They are a kingdom, but we won't uh, Royal Mary Savoy, I think. Yeah, we, we won't Royal Mary you, because I don't want... Because we need to get rid of you after, like, five years. So just having you, you know, it's a nice little bonus. We need to attack Austria again. Or if we end up at War with Austria again. Oh, excuse me. That sounded probably, like, really bad over the microphone. So, you know, sorry about that. You know, we're still... Like a few, maybe plus six. Maybe by the end of the year, we will... Uh, I suppose to maintain our diplomat in... In the in the papal state. Our papacy is actually looking good. We'll, we'll invest more points. I want to become the papal controller. Because there are some really good bonuses to it. Diplomats, stability costs, prestige. Advisors are cheaper. Um, spread of disease. Okay, well, let's, let's hold out off on that for a second. Yeah, but, like, technology costs, leaders for, like, upkeep, less aggressive expansion, it's just really good. But, um, new diseases, brought from more seeds quickly spread, um, ignore their suffering, make them hate us a lot more, lose 40 ducats, but, you know, the extra, uh, settler chance in where? Or is it just everywhere? I think it's just everywhere. For two years? Yeah, we'll just, we'll do it. Are you actually going to die? Uh, well, they die, but they're just going to shatter retreat to uh, where we want them to be anyway. So what's the bonus from having trees? Oh, it's plus 10, which actually isn't a lot. You know, but it's, you know, it's better than nothing, right? But plus 10 seller growth. 72. Do we still have the colonial enthusiasm? Fast recalling this land of opportunity. I don't think we do. So I think um, some of these places might still be like the technology promises land. Yeah, we need the, uh, I wish we had the mission to, like, colonize blank and, you know, help us out there. So we're getting 1.3 ducks in, like, a month. Also, I completely forgot about these trade ships. Um, protect trade in North Sea, English Channel, protect trade. Oh, no, you're already protecting trade in Bordeaux. You can protect trade in Bordeaux, too, I guess, because we're, we're protecting from both of those, or we're collecting from both of those. Oh yeah, and you. <clears throat> you can protect, I guess, in the North Sea, because we don't have anybody protecting up here. 32%, 32%. How much money are we making from trade? We are making 12.3 ducats, which actually isn't a lot when you think about like how we control like a third of the English Channel. Uh, missionary strength plus one. But there's still no missionary strength, really. Oh, but plus five points. There's, and also, there's no heretics right now either, so that's just an obvious choice. But I would, I would, I want to, uh, you know, I want this, I want this English trade money. You know, I want it, I want it so badly. Because I, I just, we're getting a, a decrease to our trade power because, um, we're not, because one, it's not a primary node, and two, because we're collecting, and that, you know, reduces how much of trade money you make. So we're actually our third, where's our third? One, two, and three. Okay, yeah, he's... Transfer, no, don't transfer, transfer up to uh, the English Channel instead of Bordeaux. We'll actually uh, recall merchant here. We will transfer trade. Oh, no, this, oh, this goes over here. So, yeah, we'll transfer trade. And, 
out of the guy. No, but we need the guy, you know. Hmm, excuse me. Oh yeah, Bordeaux. Okay, I was like, we need the guy in the English channel, because that's the only way we're making money right now, I think. So I don't know if we're making more now. Oh, we're making less. Oh, we're transferring like nothing out of here. Oh, that's that's really bad. Actually, no, it's because the merchant's not there yet. That makes sense. When's the merchant arrive? We have 8%. That's basically meaningless. Uh, North Sea, we could transfer into... Let's transfer North Sea into... Oh, we can only collect from trade. I think that, that's because it's because our, our capital node. Oh, but now we can absolutely change our trade capital. So I will do it. Yeah, no, one six will be our new trade capital. Does it just do it automatically? Oh, it does. And it'll probably take a month to, uh, you know, rework the numbers. But the North Sea trade node just sucks. Okay, let's just be honest. North, North, uh, this one is, is just garbage. We'll transfer out of the Rhineland because the Rhineland is just kind of not doing it for us. And where else can we transfer? We could go from like the Gulf St. Lawrence where we're already transferring. Maybe actually we want to transfer more down. No, this is going to Bordeaux. This is going to North Sea. Actually, does he go to the English Channel? I think this does. Yeah, that goes to the English Channel, but not uh, not the one in Canada. That kind of sucks. So let's actually do, I guess, Lubick. Uh, transfer trade power into out of yeah out of the English Channel. But now we got all these guys who are protecting trade in protecting the English Channel. You might be protecting Bordeaux, and because you're protecting Bordeaux, that's that's terrible. We don't want that. Protect in um Lubeck, and that should be good. That's should where all our trade ships. We have some in Denmark. We have some in the North Sea. And a good chunk in the English Channel. Yes, yeah, so we are making way more than we were uh, from collecting from both of these. Well, not, not way more, but I can, like, one more ducat. But, you know, one more ducat, you know. You know, it's something. We got that. It, it is something. And if we could actually, you know, get Burgundy's trade power, it'd be so good. So maybe we will fabricate a, a trade conflict on... Oh, we can't. We're going to give us 20% of total... Oh, because they have... We actually control... Um, sacrifice a human heart. Yeah, let's do that. But, okay, we have the boost stability. I hate the combat event. I, I like how they keep adding more events or more decisions to it, though. It really adds the flavor. If we actually protect trade less in... um, Like, if we took these 36 ships out of the English Channel, we would probably... um, Like, if we just protect them in Lubeck... Instead, uh, Lubick, Lubick, Lubick. Now we could probably fabricate our thing on. Yeah, now they have way more power than us. So now we can just fabricate the uh, the trade conflict. I don't know if I if I send them back. I don't know if it'll just cancel. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait until the conflict finishes, and I don't know when that will be. It's already 10% done, so it should be done, you know, really soon. And France will probably join us, and I will just give. I'll I'll give France land. We have a trade dispute against the Hansa. That's I'm not gonna, I'm not going to attack the Hansa. I have better things to do than attack the Hansa right now. We could actually, but taking the Hansa's trade power, it could be good. It could be good. Uh, show superiority. And Denmark would help us. Um, France might not, but Denmark definitely would. And the Hansa actually have like a surprising number of troops. That's the one thing with the Hans is that they have a surprising, a surprising number of troops. Okay, so let's see. Let's kind of take a look around. Actually, I will hire a new explorer. And we will just go on... Oh, it's mothballs. And we'll just, you know, let's go more... We can sort of, oh, we can't sort of navigate the globe until next uh, tech level. Yeah, but let's explore Mexico. Because we might want to colonize that. We can, you know, right now we can attack the natives and uh, just take their land, basically. You know, take it and core it. And we probably have enough troops in the New World if we wanted to, you know, take over, like, the Mayan territory. We absolutely could. And it, w it wouldn't even be a problem. We could just do it like that. You know, just take over, like, five provinces, core them, and probably convert them. Because they're probably, like, really cheap. And, like, what's our base missionary strength? I actually don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's, like, really, really good right now. And there's, there's nowhere where you can actually convert, so I actually don't know. Can you explore with five tradition? 
or the, and let's gain the 50 admin points. I don't need another explorer, and right now we're already over our limit anyway, so. Ah, oh, the Miztech, the Totonic, the Kakomis. You want to just attack the natives? We need, to, we need to gather, like, a small army together. But we could absolutely attack the natives. Oh, and we got our trade conflict with Burgundy. Awesome. No, we will... Protect trade in the English Channel. I will, um... We will, uh, like... I don't know, okay. We'll, we'll, like, split off ten ships. To, uh, keep in Lubeck. How about you? Protect trade in the English Channel. You guys protect trade in Lubeck. I don't know. If, I don't know if we're getting a lot of money even from the Lubeck node, but you know it's worth it. It's worth a try. Is this the thing that turns them into an archduck uh, duchy? Yeah, it is. So now they're an arch, uh, an arch duchy, arch duchy instead of a kingdom. You know, good, good for you, Austria. But now we have a cost of belly. I guess the war was split. The people who don't matter, really. So, blockade ports. France, Denmark would join us. I'm surprised Savoy wouldn't, because I, I thought they would probably hate Switzerland. And who are they allied to? Let me just... Let me see this. Like, nobody. There, there was a really blobby Switzerland, but... You know, declaring war on arrival. We can definitely blockade their, their uh, ports. And they would all join. France and Denmark are really the only people we need, so I'm going to declare the war. Uh, we can increase tech. Ah, uh, we're still like two years ahead, so I don't know if I will do that. It'll give us better infantry, but I don't need better infantry right now. Are these guys protecting the North Sea? They are. I don't care about the North Sea, so... And I don't know if you need like a full blockade. Ah, uh, yeah, you do. You need to absolutely blockade. So I will actually just uh, yeah, blockade like that. That'll give us taking war score. We won't make as much money. We'll be losing money for the next few months. But getting all the money from, um, all the trade power from Burgundy will definitely help us. So, yeah, Switzerland. But we have, like, De Denmark and France. Our two best allies. They're great guys. I like those guys. You know, they're really helping us out here. And so, if we just send you, send him to Connecticut. Uh, I don't know if we can really send any of these guys over to Connecticut. Or, because we need to, you know, attack... Explore the Ivory Coast. I no, we want to explore all of North America first, but um, we need to attack the natives. And let's see, like we just take these five provinces here, or is there a better five provinces? Can we just full annex this guy? Yeah, we can just like full annex this guy. He's got five provinces. Like his allies, you know, don't matter. He's a vassal, but um, you know, we take that. We just core it, and then we just get a new colonial nation. Which will kind of suck. We have the culture convert and all that stuff, too. And there will definitely be rebel issues every time I always colonize the New World. Um, it happened with the uh, the Nazareth campaign, if you watch that, where I would just feed a colonial nation like every single native, and they would just get flooded by rebels because... Um, because what, what am I thinking? Because there are just so many uh, different like cultures and stuff. But I think there was a patch note that says you don't get... Um, nationalism against uh, natives or primitives I don't know if that's still accurate but I think it is but I do think this is actually a good time to end the episode so thank you for watching my name is Anthony if you have enjoyed remember the thumbs up if you're not enjoying it, come thumbs down if you want to see more subscribe and goodbye